And the 4th of July doesn't change much from year to year. Fireworks, flags, parades. And this year, the cost of your holiday cookout won't be changing much either. That's the word from the American Farm Bureau, which says fixings for a traditional cookout will cost less than 1% more than they did last year. Julian Paras reports from our Washington Bureau. Fourth of July is around the corner, and shoppers like John Jacobs said that farmers markets are great options to shop at for the Independence Day cookouts ahead. I mean, I think they're reasonable. Yeah. It's good. It's good produce. It's good food. It's fun. But farmers markets aren't the only place for good prices this summer. According to the American Farm Bureau, the cost for a traditional cookout for 10 people is up less than 1% from last year. All the items that you use for a 4th of July cookout have, have seen their prices remain uh, very affordable for consumers, so we haven't seen the cost of the meal uh, increase or decrease dramatically. The Bureau sent volunteers out to grocery stores in 34 states to price a holiday cookout. So those volunteer shoppers found that uh, a cookout for 10, the price of a cookout for 10 was $52.80 or $5.28 per person, about a penny more per person. What we've seen across farm country is uh, commodity prices, livestock prices have been low for a number of years now. Uh, and what that's ultimately translated into is cheaper prices for the consumer. While prices for watermelons, hot dogs, and ground beef rose slightly from last year, prices for cheese, potato salad, and lemonade fell. Newton said increased milk production led to lower consumer prices on dairy products like cheese. It's not all burgers and dogs for some cookouts, though. I think it's a great place to get fresh food if you're planning to have people over. It makes a great, uh, again, gazpacho, um, fruit salads, uh, jams, pies, peach pie, maybe on my menu. And it's not just supermarkets. Jacob says he enjoys doing his Independence Day shopping at the farmer's market. Great option. Yeah, there's nowhere else to get fresh produce in downtown on the weekday. I spoke with some of the vendors and they said that business tends to be slow around this time of the year as people will be out of town for the 4th of July. In Washington, Julian Paras, Cronkite News. The news was even better for shoppers here in the state. A similar picnic basket survey by the Arizona Farm Bureau found that it would cost $49.17 to put on the same 10-person cookout here, or less than $5 per person.